Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, we left off last time here. What we uh, had just uh, called the spring on the uh, coil winder or the makeshift coil winder. Um, well, I guess now at this point it's a uh, chainmail link winder. So here we have our spring and our big uh, electrical grade, grade cutters that I got from Lowe's. And basically all we're going to do, like I showed you before, is I normally cut off two links at a time. Uh, you don't want to really do any more than that. Uh, I found that if I try to cut three links, it, it actually uh, won't let me. It, it just kind of goofs up a little bit. So, so I cut off two links at a time. And basically you just do this through the entire coil. And it takes a long time. You just got to sit down, like I said, turn the TV on, talk with some friends. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm recruiting... Uh, some of the guys that I've known for years that have uh, kind of been forced into to coiling with me, um, they've been there uh, the whole time with me, and I, I'm actually recruiting them to, to. It's basically slave labor. I'm I'm having them. Uh, we're gonna get together every once in a while and sit down and work on these. Try to form a little assembly line going so we can get this done sooner. Because um, I've got a really big Tesla coil that's. Uh, waiting for this Faraday suit to be finished, so um, so hopefully we'll get something done here soon. But anyway, so we get the rings, and we've got these rings, and like I said, if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but they they have a, uh, you know, obviously since it was on the spring coil, um, they're, not, they're not together, so what we have to do is we actually have to get the pair of pliers, and join these two links together. And I normally bend it past it a little bit just so that you can make sure that it's nice and even. So there we go. Now we've got a before and an after. You can probably see the difference there. Yeah. So once you get a bunch of those done, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do four real quick. Need some music going in the background. Maybe I'll turn the music on next time, make the time pass a little faster. Okay, so now I've got four rings, which you can't see. There we go. Got four rings, and I've got some extra ones over here. So what I'm doing is, when I'm setting up this assembly line with my friends, I'm actually going to have, some of us are going to be making these closed rings, and then some are going to be making open rings. And what an open ring is, is basically the exact opposite. Instead of closing the ring, you want to open it. And the reason why we're going to do that is, once you have an open ring like this, you actually put these four smaller rings on it, and you close the ring back up. Like so. And that's the start of your chainmail pattern. So you can see when you lay this out on the table, it starts to take the form of what's called the 4-in-1 chainmail pattern. Um, and that's what you're using to slowly build the suit up. So, so that's it for this video. Um, on the next video, I'll have several of these built, and we'll actually lay them out on the table, and I'll show you how to interconnect them, which is um, not, it's not complicated, it's just the first time you try it, you want to pull your hair out, uh, and, it, and it gets easier, and I'm sure there are other methods than the one that I'm going to show you, so feel free to obviously use whatever works for you, <laughs> um, but I'll show you the way that I learned how to do it, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for looking.